Right, hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage. So, first off, I'm staying behind the camera today, full of uh, cold, allergies, it's not coronavirus. I just feel a bit crap and I probably look crap as well, so even worse than usual. So I'm staying behind the camera. Again, a little bit windy, so apologise for that. I thought I'd show you the latest acquisition. So, the Jeep Patriot sold with no trouble whatsoever. Tried it for a day, a uh, day and a bit on Facebook, didn't really get much interest. Put it on eBay for literally one I wanted for it, which was 3k. Within, I think, 25 minutes, someone rang. I took it up to them, I think near Doncaster, and it's gone. So the day after, I bought this. <laughs> I seem to sell and buy pretty quick at the minute. So anyway, yes, we've got a E92 pre-LCI 2009 320i M Sport. Quite a nice car, you know. My idea was again for a nice, quick, easy flip. Because with the situation with the unit at the minute, I've got the Polo in there, I've got the Mini in there. We're waiting on the new one. I'm struggling for room, so to keep content up and to keep a bit of money coming in, so these these quick flips are ideal. Um, but they don't always go to plan and this is one of them I'm afraid so I, I kind of paid a little bit over the odds for it anyway without much margin because I thought it was pretty much ready to go isn't really the case unfortunately and that's that's the risk you take with these cars when you don't go and look at them at auction you get basically what you get the pictures aren't always the clearest uh, I was well aware that the washer jets were covering, covered, uh, washer jet covers were missing, that wasn't a concern, um, other than that I thought it was just a bit of trying to clean up, washer jet covers and, um, and put it on its way, but we'll get into that detail in a minute and show you what the issues are, but again this is a HPI clear car, it's another dealer disposal, so again previous owners traded it in. Uh, the dealer's not wanted to put it on its forecourt because it's at the end of the day it's a 10 year old car. Um, so they sent it to auction. Runs and drives absolutely perfect. Uh, no issues at all there. It just needs a bit of a tarting up. So first off straight away the alloys are absolutely disgusting. If you get a close up, they're absolutely destroyed. Now, luckily a chap um, I did a deal with with the Corsa he owes me a good deal on a set of wheels so they're taken care of and I'm going to get them refurbed I'm hoping same colour I've ordered brand new centre caps because look at the state of them absolutely ridiculous brand new centre caps so the wheels are going to look spot on perfect this tyre pretty much brand new the rear's not far off but we're probably going to need one on the passenger front and we'll get round there so we've got a little bit of paint missing there I'm not going to do anything with that, I'll touch it up, that'll be it these are plastic wings we've got plenty of scuffs on the bumper plenty of scuffs down there, car's filthy I don't, don't worry about it, I will get it washed again round the front not looking too bad. Now I didn't discover this until only just recently, but we've got it's got obviously got a stone chip and then it's got under the paint, which is sickening because now I'm gonna have to rub that down, paint that complete bonnet. So I was planning to repaint the bumper because of all these scuffs. So I'll do that myself. I'm not too concerned about that. Do you know the money and the paint isn't all that big a deal, it's just my time. So the issue is really down this side. So bearing in mind the picture's taken from about here. I can't remember what angle, but I think the car was wet as well, which is a good trick these auctions use. Take a picture of the car wet, it hides a lot of issues, and especially with black cars. Sorry, I'm trying to just just block a bit of the wind for you. Especially with black cars, hides any scratches and marks. So we'll get a bit closer. Now the parts where it's gone right down, I knew about these, I could see them on the picture, I couldn't see exactly how bad they were and they're worse than I expected. 
but like I said we'll just we're just gonna take this bumper off and we're gonna paint the whole thing rub it all down paint it and that'll deal with that situation because there's no damage to the bumper it's just had a bit of a hard life so the part now I didn't see now, as mentioned these wings plastic so crash damage on a metal bump on a metal wing you see it pushed in paint flicked off plastic ones they don't tend to look too bad so as a from a distance that you couldn't see it now now you can and not just that the fixing points snap completely off so that means all that is not even attached to the wing now and there's a big crack in it there so needless to say we need a wing I've got one ordered same colour 135 delivered so not a massive a massive deal do you know what I mean and again just check that wheel again destroyed this is the tyre that needs changing so we might as well change it whilst the wheels are going to get the wheels are going to get done properly they're going to get acid dipped and then they're going to get powder coated so they'll be perfect and then another bit of a sickening one as well we've got this massive scratch down the side of the door I really don't know what to do with this I'll be honest with you because I did find a door it looks like it's got a couple of little marks but nothing that bad it's like 80 pound so I don't and it's the white colour so I don't know I'm gonna get it cleaned get the machine polisher out see how good I can make that look make a decision from that whether I need to change it or not so I'm not too sure with that one but this is like I said this is the problem you're gonna get these cars and you know I'm not bothered this is the risk that we take doing this and it's a good it's a good thing to point out because that Jeep literally we got Joe the perfect auction car there it was cheap it was an easy fix it was a tidy car full service history you don't get any better than that and it's a good thing to be able to show both sides of the you know, system this is what you can end up with and you know this car I'll tell you the prices in a minute but <laughs> if you were buying this car for yourself it was a good deal but as a flipper like I said I didn't leave much room in it because I thought it was ready to go once you start adding these few bits and pieces under pound here under pound there um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to struggle to make any substantial amount of money out of this uh, I might make a little bit hundred pound two hundred pound but it ain't going to be much and if it wasn't for the deal I'm getting off this friend uh, because he owes me um, the wheels would probably make it a break even really bit of content for you guys but the corrosion on these wheels you can just literally peel the paint off. But like I said, they'll be like new them. So around the back and from a distance, don't look too bad. But again, couldn't see this on the pic on the video on the picture. Sorry, it's got a little puncture on the bumper. Now all I'm going to be able to do with that is warm it up, push it back out from inside and touch it in I cannot afford to change this bumper so a few little marks here and there a few little scratches but really unfortunately the back bumper is what it is a little look under here so all them cars you get from auction with no locking wheel nut key for some reason I've got two <laughs> I've got one here and there's one inside so I'll be keeping one of them but with this car everything's gone now obviously there's no way you're going to fit spare wheel in there so this must have come with one of them little canisters it must have been a golf player one of them little canisters um, so that shoots form in your tyre I would have thought so I'll get one of them I'm presuming that's a warning triangle I do apologise, I'm all bunged up today so I might sound a bit funny, sniffling. Uh, so, okay. So yeah, as it looks at the minute, a bit rough and ready but we'll get it sorted out and I think it will be a nice car. 
it will be a nice car so we'll have a little quick look under the bonnet so like i said this is the 320i so unfortunately it's a four cylinder the eyes are streaming but probably the best part of the whole car is how clean under the bonnet is it's a little four cylinder in there i can't watch through the noise in front this is how uh, bmws get the balance of the car so well they get their engines sat as far back as possible with the audis they ride up front now i'll be honest i'm an audi guy never really owned a bmw quite nice to drive this it's i think 160 170 horse so it goes okay no rocket shit by any means because there's a bit of weight to them but they're driving the right wheels which are the rear wheels so i'm sure it'll be a bit of fun on a twisty road now something else i didn't notice on the pictures and uh i have noticed before now i'm just going to show you but whatever the little bit of a knot was on here that managed to do this also managed to break the tabs on the top of the headlight on there this is how they fixed it a bit of zip tie and a screw and to be fair it's pretty secure in there you know bearing in mind the, the wing moves but it's not right but not to worry because you can get repair tabs for these lights i've ordered a set genuine off ebay from bmw and you can repair them so you can hardly tell and headlight works perfect no damage to the headlight but repair kit's 27 pound yeah like i said it all adds up and when you've got not got much of a margin in the car these are the parts that start to take away from your um show your profit okay so let's get ourselves inside out of the wind now, i know you can't tell but this is um a black metallic so give it a good wash we'll probably find another hundred scratches but it should be a nice colour now so the inside now the pictures on the auction were literally just a little bit of the dash they didn't show any of the interior so i was quite surprised to find alcantara seats and i actually really like them they're really nice now 99 percent of these cars on ebay i've all got the leather but i think this is this is a really nice interior actually and i prefer this a lot over the um the leather i think it might be a good selling point i don't know how uh, how rare this alcantara interior is if it is or not but i just wasn't expecting it and and the pattern you know in the door cards it's actually quite nice so all in all the interior very good condition really for a 10 11 year old car a few little bits and pieces like like this stuff here it's weird i might i don't know what i'm going to do with that i just noticed then a little bit there it's a bit weird isn't it um but all in all pretty nice on the inside so we'll get ourselves in out of the wind and like i said quite a nice place to sit to be fair so for the eagle eyed of you there was a, a wheel missing a wheel cap missing it is here i pulled it out just to measure it and get the part number and i've managed to get a set of four brand new with the covers for nine pound so but again like i said all these little bits add up so needs a bit of a clean like i said a bit more black stuff coming off there perhaps it's a common issue with bmws i don't really know and you know quite basic inside really six speed manual now it's got your you know, aircon and everything it's nice and cold um but yeah cruise control i think it's all standard stuff i'm pretty sure power folding mirrors again i presume standard don't know these are your bmw keys so we've got two keys we've got the handbook 
and we even got a logbook with this one. Two farmer keepers. The keeper that traded it in had had it since 2012. I don't, it's not that Mrs. P. Moore, that's the previous owner the, from New. Um, it's okay. So you put your key in there. And what, what's annoying me is they're supposed to push the seatbelt out here and it doesn't. So you have to lean right back there and grab the seatbelt. I have to mess with that because it's bugging me already. And then you push that. I think, is it foot on brake? No, it's foot on clutch. And, uh, and she runs really well. Now the mileage, 83,376. So, so that's a good point with this car. It's well below average miles. If you look for, you know, these on eBay, they're generally all 100, uh, 110 plus, 140. You know, so that'll be a good selling point. And it, and it's, you know, it's not the earlier ones. I think they come out in 2006. Did the these? So, it's it's pretty much the last of the pre-LCIs before they did the slight facelift. Um, so again, bloody seatbelt thing, uh, perhaps a good selling point, but yeah, like I said, what I've done, I've done 10 miles in it, had a little drive in it, and it drives, it drives perfect, do you know what I mean, it, do you know, if someone comes and test drives this car, there'll be nothing that they can, do you know, pick up on, really. Um, interior is even quite clean to be fair it needs a little bit of a spruce up but you know, not like that jeep which was covered in a layer of dust um, it's a really annoying rattle from inside the dashboard I need to deal with because it's bugging the hell out of me um, not really much else to tell you about I've got some free headphones not that I'm going to use them they've been in someone else's ears but <laughs> And pretty much every cubby hole has got an air freshener in it. Uh, and we've even got some antibacterial hand cleaning gel. So, yeah. That's going to be about it, I think, really. I said I thought I'd show you it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do... I'm going to... So just someone driving past. I'm going to. What am I going to do? I'm going to get all four wheels off. They're going to get sent away. Well, not sent away. I'm going to take them to this guy I know. He's going to take them to work, and he's going to refurb them properly. Like I said, they're going to get acid dipped and uh, freshly powder coated. They even refit the tyres and everything. And I will get the details of that place for you when I see him, and I'll um, I'll do a follow up video. I might even do a video, just one video of, of this car, you know, the complete repair process. We'll get the bumper off, repaint it, bonnet off, repaint that. Um, we'll replace the wing. You'll see the new alloys go, well not new alloys, but refurbed alloys go back on. And uh, new centre caps. And we'll give it a polish, I think all in the one video. And uh, like a before and after. Yeah, I think that's going to be about it then. So yet yeah, another car to flip. So I've decided to come on camera in the end. Uh, feeling a little bit better now actually. Now we're inside, not as, as uh, snotty. So yesterday I picked this car up and met another subscriber. So I'm in services on the M62. Uh, I can't remember the name of services. It's the one between Huddersfield and Leeds. Now I was on. I I I was coming westbound back home. This guy was going eastbound. <laughs> I think about that, that's really bad, isn't it? Anyway, so I pulled up in services and I went across the bridge onto the other side to get a KFC. Now, obviously, at the minute, everyone's got to wear masks, haven't they? So I've got my neck warmer right up here for my motorbike. So, literally, all you can see is my eyes and my hair. And I've, um, I've ordered my Burger King, not sponsored. Um, just stood there waiting and this guy comes up and he's got his mask on and I couldn't quite tell what he was saying at first because I thought he was just asking me if I'd been served 
but it turned out it, it, it had um, you know that YouTube salvage guy and um, it, it recognised me even you know and I said how oh, oh, you recognised me I got a mask and he said my airline or something like that but anyway uh, guys came name's called John so John nice to meet you it's a shame um, didn't have much more time and uh, we, we had to have masks on couldn't even shake hands uh, but nice to meet you um, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos and you said you were going to Cadwell to do a bit of recovery work in your Land Rover so best of luck with that you'll have already done it by the time this video comes out but like I said nice to meet you and any of you guys if you see me around see me driving around keep your own or give me a wave or if, if you can do come up and have a chat you know, I'm quite approachable um, I love this chat to anyone so nice to see, nice to see you John um, so yeah we'll leave it there I think like I said it's, it's not the ideal flip car this like I said price wise I've forgotten to tell you but I'll tell you now this was up for a, um, a minimum bid of £2,700 and no one had bid on it so I thought do you know, I could buy it, literally just tart it up a little bit, put some jet wash covers on, give it a nice polish and wash, and it, and it looked like it was ready to go. Two keys, log book, you know, everything was perfect. Um, and I think with this mileage, I think the right the right buyer, this is worth 3995 you know, I think so. Uh, so 2 7 hour price, with the fees, <coughs> it came out to £3,018 from Synetic again. Uh, Doncaster so I've got 50 quid in diesel there as well now obviously we're gonna have to start adding on these bits and pieces you know the one 135 for the wing it's gonna be 70 pound in the paint you know luckily like I said I've got the alloys getting done for free um, oh, well I, I think it's free anyway I need to speak to him yet I have to buy a tire that's gonna be 80 quid you know washer jet covers were ten pound headlight repair kit twenty seven pound centre caps tenner I put a tenner of petrol in it um, the polishing stuff you know I'm gonna use some of my stuff up for polishing it I might end up getting a door that's another eighty pound you know all these bits eventually <coughs> add up and in reality when it's done if I wanted to shift it at any kind of rate any time any kind of speed do you know, I'd have to be putting this up for like three and a half, which I'm not going to be able to do now because there'll be nothing in it, will there? So, like I said, if I get 200 quid out of it, you know, and a couple of videos for you guys to watch, um, I'm not, I'm not too bothered. It's a nice car, and I think it'll be quite a sellable car, really. I think it'll go okay, and it's not like I said, it's nice to see the other side of the scenario where, as the Jeep, the Jeep was ideal, easy fix. What do they have in it? Well, in hours, probably a day, a day and a half in hours, and um, I made fourteen hundred pound out of that Jeep. You know, so you can make money even at the minute with coronavirus and the prices being inflated. That Jeep was just right place, right time, right money, weren't it? it was cheap, and I, I let it go cheap at three thousand, just so I could get it out the door and get something else in. If I'd have stuck my guns, I'd have, I'd, you know, I could have got three and a half for that. If I found the right person, so it might have took a bit of time. I'd um. I'd have got three and a half for it, but at three grand, it's a cheap car for someone, and that's what I like to do: get these cars in and out, sell them for a good price. So someone's got a nice sorted car that got 49,000 miles on it, fully serviced, coil packs, you know, spark plugs, everything. Um, what more do you want? That car was was a, a great buy for the guy who got it, and um, yeah, I know they've had they have the problems them jeeps, but. For the, for the car, that was the best one around and, and way best price. Uh, so it, that's why it went so quick. And then on the other hand, we've got this one, which I'm gonna have to paint paint parts, buy parts, replace parts, refurb the wheels, and like I said, I might get 200 quid out of it. You know what I mean? So a lot of effort for 200 pound, whereas I did very little effort and got 1400 pound. But that's that's the way this goes. If you can't go and view a vehicle, I would suggest not be done on it. Now for us people that do this like Mark, Resurrect Autos, um, do you know Rob, everyone knows Rob, his channel is ridiculous to be already, um, Salvi Flippers, Saving Salvage, Cars for Paul, you, know, you guys watch all the same channels that I do, I'm sure you do, you know, we, we can't afford to go out 
and look at every single car we're thinking about bidding on. You know? We just can't. Because the amount of cars we go through, we bid on, it would be a full time job just going out to look at all these cars and um, to decide if they're worth bidding on. So we've got to be blind and because of that we have to try and keep you know, to a certain limit which if we end up winning and the car comes and it's a good one then there's, there's, there's good profit in it but you've got to because of all these you know, unforeseen little bits and pieces that soon add up and, and you, end up, you end up losing don't you? I've lost in the past, we've all seen the Golf R32 which are uh, well and truly messed up with that one um, so it's not it's not as easy as it looks doing this you know, that, like I said that Jeep was a one off probably and um, I'll be looking if I get another one like that this year I tell you and this is this is really the reality of it really like I said this I, I bid too much on it really and if it was through auction I don't know if, if they decided at zero it would have gone for less it's just because it was minimum bid 27 and I thought I'd just take a risk but hey, like I said, I'm not blaming anyone. Um, this is just, just this is the game that we're in, and I just like it's nice for you guys to see that this can happen. Do you know what I mean? If you want a vehicle for yourselves, and say you wanted a 320i, you probably find three or four every week going through. You know all the auctions that are in the country. Go out and view them all yourself, and decide which one you want to try and bid and, and your fee and what you want to pay. For your own car you know because it's worth it doing for that one-off purchase that you're going to make it's worth going around and, and looking at them because they do have problems they're at auction for a reason usually you know and um don't get yourself you know caught out this even at 27 if i bought it for my own car so once it's finished it'd be a well sorted car for a good price it's just like i said there's not enough margin in it uh to really you know Pay for, the, pay for the unit really, do you know what I mean? And you know, new tools that I want and workwear and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I still enjoy the process, it's a nice car, I've enjoyed driving it a little bit and I'll enjoy the process of getting it and looking nice. Um, so yeah, right, this video is probably getting on a bit now, I've been blabbering on. So I'm going to leave you there, like I said, I'll do one follow up video where we'll go through the whole process of everything that's going to happen to this car to the point where it's finished and uh, then it'll get sold, moved on and we'll go again no new updates about the unit unfortunately still waiting for the planning for it um, I don't know why it's taken, it's, it's, it's not here yet but it's going to take as long as it takes unfortunately um, so right yes, thank you as always for watching please do consider subscribing if you like these videos um, not much salvage rebuilds going on at the minute but I've explained why, but we, do, we will get back to that but these are nice quick and easy content for me to give you guys and I really enjoy doing this this stuff actually it's nice and new and fresh and by the time you know I'm bored of the vehicle it's ready to go you know the longer progress the, the longer processes were the ones where it's a big salvage built rebuild I kind of get bored halfway through you know because it's, it's here for weeks I like new and fresh vehicles coming in all the time but anyway right if you can please do share this uh, video or any of the videos on the channel it does actually help we tried it a few videos back and it and it gave a good boost in the subscribers because it's got a little bit quiet at the minute youtube the views are there don't get me wrong but we're not really getting much new subscribers we're getting them getting them but it, it's quite slow at the minute surprisingly so um I'm not too sure why perhaps i don't know i don't know i'm not going to go into that anyway but anyway all you guys thanks for watching i really do appreciate it i really appreciate all the comments Tell me what you think about you know, the cars I'm buying, what I'm doing, uh, even cars you'd like to see. So if I can find something that you're interested in, I'll try and get it. Simple as that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.